Uh, what we can expect over the next few months is a lot of people going out there uh, trying to catch tuna. Uh, but once the quota is actually filled, whether the tuna season has ended or not, it will come to a close because it's been monitored all the time. What's the quota? Uh, the quota is 30 tonnes. Sounds an awful lot of fish. But it's 30 tonnes and once it's been reached, uh, it will terminate then. Uh, not necessarily on the termination date. Uh, if we've got the 30 tonnes beforehand, it will not be extended. You're urging people to carry out uh, ethical fishing practices, such as, uh, for example, observing the fact that uh, dolphins tend to navigate the same waters as tuna. They do navigate the same waters, and there's other wildlife out there, like the sheer waters that are sitting there on what we call rafts out on the water there. And we are asking not just the game fishermen, but all people that go out there with boats to be careful. These, are, these birds have flown a long way to come down here and feed in the Straits of Gibraltar and they sit on the water and rest. They've got a long way to swim back. Disturbing them all the time can make it so some of them don't even make it back because they'll be too tired. You can't keep on making them get in the air. So if we were to avoid them, it would be better to go around them, observe them, look at them by all means. But, you know, try to stay away from them. The same with the dolphins. The dolphins are moving around the bay. They breed inside the bay itself. There are dolphin protocols where you're not supposed to approach them too closely, about 60 metres is within it. If they're following you on the same heading, you can continue. The dolphins are following your heading. But when they turn away, don't turn away and follow the dolphins assuming that they're following something under the water that you want to catch. They're not. They're just moving away from you because they need to rest. And in your experience, do people tend to follow these ethical fishing practices? To a great extent, when they're professional, like the game fishermen there, and they have got good hearts in it, and they are good at what they're doing, but, you know, not everybody is perfect. But, you know, observe from a distance, watch. The game fishermen know what they're doing. They're going out there, following their sport that they want to do, and they want to catch a tuna. You've asked the government to carry out an assessment over the next few months of uh, tuna fishing practices. To what end? Well, the great end to that is actually we're letting the greater public at large know that this is what we've been asking for for years and the Minister for the Environment has been pushing it and doing it. This is why he's got a fishing commission and in truth it is already done. We have a quota, we have uh, an establishment within the marine unit of the environment there going out there and watching now. We have a setup now where 24 hours a day there's a telephone call there. In the past we would catch the tuna and we'd bring them in. Now they have to be reported in, they have to be brought in. The environmental people have to see them, they have to weigh them, they have to measure them, take all the biometrics that they need for them. And this is happening 24 hours a day, in the week, during the weekdays, at the weekends and on bank holidays. There's a phone number for the game fishermen, which they know. They will phone and the environmental people will be there to carry out their side of this objective.